guys, it's Lucy Young, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a really cool tiger using the tag Neon Cake. And um, this is pretty much the same as the Wolf Neon Cake and the Diamond FX Neon Cake. So if you guys have any of those, then obviously they'll work for this. Also, this is a great design to have in your pocket to do for boys who see this and um, want the rainbow because it's still, it's not really feminine so um, you can use this design for little boys who just want a rainbow on their face. Alright so to start this design I'm going to use Diamond FX White and my Ben Nye chisel brush. Now people have asked me the size of this brush. I'm not sure but the number on here says FPB16. So I'm going to take the white and cover my eyes. Um, make sure that your white's not too runny or it's going to go straight into the kids eyes and that will cause a mini freak out. So um, just go right over your eyes, take the edge of the brush and go right in the corner, drag it up straight through the brow and then end in a point and end in another point and another one and then one down there and continue filling in that space until all the streaks are gone. All right, so you want a shape, a uh, basic shape like that. Okay, so you got the two eyes going on, and now I'm just going to do the muzzle. And I'm going to fill in um, just this bottom area, including my upper lip, and go in a just kind of a motion like that. Like, oops. And kind of end right there. And fill it all in. and right beside the nose now you don't have to worry about covering the bottom of the nose because we're going to cover that with um, other colors um, okay so here's all the white on the face obviously it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to outline it later now I have that neon cake loaded onto my sponge if you're unsure of how to load then you should watch my other videos because I've shown it a lot so just watch some of my other videos um, now if it's a boy then I put the orange um, in the center because that's going to be the focus because um, those are all the boyish colors you got the orange through the blue and everything. If it's a girl, I put the pink. So I'm a girl, so I'm going to put the pink right here. And I start right here, right here in this, right between the eyes. And because um, it, that's pretty much where you need your color. And just pounce. Let's see here. Hopefully I'm not covering this up. But pounce. Make sure that you keep, um, the bottom where it needs to be so that you don't muddy up the colors. You want to keep them nice and separated. And you can do the bottom first if that helps. So I'm going to do the bottom first. And um, the side. Then I'm going to go pivot my sponge up and do the top. Now this will, if you're not used to sponging rainbow cakes, this is going to take practice. Um, but you'll get it. Now I'm going to line that pink right back up, but I flipped my brush over or my sponge over, and I'm going to cover the nose area. Okay. I'm going to pinch my sponge so I only get parts of those colors, and do this cheek area, and then just uh, carefully let down the rest of my sponge so the rest of the colors can get on there too. And go all the way back. All right, so I have some Diamond FX Black and a number three low Cornell Comfort brush. And I'm gonna do my stripes and outlining with this. And um, I always like to start at the eye. Bring your brush up, flatten it out for a thicker line and end in a point. And then just drag it down and do a quick outline of the little hairs there. And for the stripes on the cheek, um, I like to start about right here, press down, 
pull up and end in a fine point and then pull this up to end in a fine point near the nose. Now starting from about right here, skinny, fat, curve it around and end skinny again. And coming in a little bit, go thin, thick, thin, so thin, thick, thin, like that. Okay, now for the mouth, press and pull, press and end in a point. Do a long teardrop right here. And then flick your brush in three times for some whiskers. So, one, two, three, and if you have time and want to, you can, um, curve these in. I usually don't because I'm kind of in a hurry all the time. All right, and then for the nose, just like any other cat nose that you do, push the brush on the little indentations in the nose, connect them right below the tip of the nose, right there, and fill in the bottom, like that. Okay, for the forehead, just start right here in the center. Thin, thick, curve your brush around, and bring it into a point, just like that. And um, do a mirroring one, coming this way. Bring it in. Okay, do another one, a bigger one. Make sure all your points are um, pointing towards uh, right between your eyes. And one more. Then press your brush down and pull up. Okay, so I have everything done. I went ahead and did this side of my face. Now I'm going to take some hot pink, the hot pink that was right here. I just loaded it right onto my brush and um, I'm going to do my bottom lip because I, on cats and tigers, I really like the way it looks when you have the bottom lip um, filled in. And if it was a boy, I would just do black or um, nothing on a boy. And then just give it a slight outline. On boys, I like to do teeth. I don't usually do them on girls, but I'll show you how I do it. Just right at the corner here. Flick your brush down for a tooth. and just have them curving gently in towards the center of the face. And that's it, it's all done. Um, I do like putting glitter on it if it's a girl, so um, I'll go ahead and do that really quick. I get, like to go up the nose, through the center, and then the apples of the cheeks. Okay, you guys, I hope that you liked that and that it gave you some more ideas of ways you can use that a uh, cool neon cake. I hope that you can use it at an event coming soon. If you haven't done so already, please rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.